Brett is Thomas Nantes. He's the feature of inspections in Austin area. Thomas Nantes, he be the inspector of regional business development manager, inspector Dr. Inspected Dr. Thank you, Hi, fellow my name is Thomas Jamis. I'm an inspector. Um, we do third party inspections in the city of Austin. Uh, recently, uh, so, as of October 1st, uh, the city of Austin uh, instituted a uh, program where third party inspectors could inspect for compliance with the uh, SPSC 2018 code. Inspected, uh, stepped back and said, We'll help you guys in Austin by uh, doing inspections for you guys. Uh, and so, those of you who are building in Austin, uh, and most of you guys are working with us as far as doing virtual inspections, what we're going to speak to today is uh, how these inspections are going to change in the future. Um, as a uh, that's a um, So, we're going to talk about virtual inspections, how they work what they can do for you, and what you can do to help that out. Um, currently, uh, Inspected.com is doing virtual inspections all over the floor. Any municipality, uh, you build a pooling, you build a generator, um, you do air conditioning permits, um, you can actually call up Inspected or a third party inspection company, and they will be able to do the inspections for the municipality. You don't have to wait on the inspector. Sometimes in Austin or other municipalities, the inspector gets backed up two, three, four, five days, and you have to keep the shop that it's looking. You have to keep the classroom that it's following. And when you went to Advent and virtual inspections and acceptance started in Florida, Georgia, and now in the city of Austin for the past six months, um, these virtual inspections are changing the way that you guys do business in the construction in general. So what are virtual inspections? Basically, what I do all day. Um, I can sit in my office with a iPad, I can sit the link with my iPad with the tablet, as you or somebody you designate wraps around the job site and points at the pipe and measures it with a tape measure. And I'm sitting here on my computer or on my tablet, able to see what's going on. Because honestly, with inspections, if you don't have to smell it and you don't have to taste it, you can do the rest virtually. And you don't have to go out yourself. You can send somebody from your team, or you can actually have your homeowner. I've had a homeowner just walk out into the back of the pool because the builder was sick or away from a medical inspection in time, and they literally walked around the job site, pointing at their pool, pointing at the pipes, and were outsourced from the pool company to do the inspection. So um, it's, it's a real benefit to speeding up inspections and making the uh, construction will move a lot faster, a lot smoother, and more on your time limits. So, as I mentioned, uh, you don't have, with the virtual inspections, it is the way of the future. Uh, again, the city of Austin allows it, um, and more and more municipalities are seeing the benefit. For the builders, you don't have to sit around and wait for the inspector to explain to them something interesting with the in floor plan, schedule the time, on your own time. Literally, I could have somebody call me up right now and say, Thomas, I got a shot for today, I got a class for tomorrow. Can we do this quick virtual inspection? Yes, I'll step outside and watch the guys hit some golf balls and take care of it. That's the virtual uh, the, the flexibility that virtual inspections do offer. Um, also, you can get more information. Everything that we do as far as a virtual inspection is saved on your profile and can be accessible at any time. So if you're halfway through construction and you realize that you didn't put the light bench in, you can go onto your portal, look at the video that was shot on your pool, and say there's no steel right here. There's a spot we didn't pour drill without hitting any steel, without hitting any pipes, and get that thing installed. There's so many useful aspects. Again, with live video, with uh, screenshots, with notes from the inspection that you don't normally get with a regular municipalities inspection. Basically, in a lot of cases you get pass or fail in the site for some reason. Well, in a virtual inspection, 
in many cases, you can do the inspection, the face-to-face with the real inspector, having a conversation, creating a relationship, and rapport, and are able to, if there's any deficiencies, fix them, call them back up, and if sometimes it takes 20 minutes, sometimes it takes two days, but get back on there on your schedule to uh, correct it. Uh, uh, as far as for municipalities, I know we don't have a lot of city representatives here tonight, but the more that I can get your help pushing municipalities and understanding it, there's a huge benefit to using virtual inspections. They don't, they can, they can stretch their inspectors double or triple the capacity. So you, there's no longer this guy driving around your job site in a little white truck saying pass, fail, pass, fail, or red tag. He can sit in a comfortable office without having to risk loss of traffic and conduct these inspections in the same way that we do for many of your companies. Um, there's a lot of uh, in-person costs to drive around with gas, insurance, vehicle, and all the other risks and all the other So in, in the end, you don't have a city inspector walking around the job site, which in some cases, as I say, I've seen more than two or three uh, folks while walking on the job site showing me the pool kind of trip and fall on the steel or the or pipes and the the trenches. And that is something that should be considered for you guys safety-wise, but also for the municipality and not having that risk of injuring uh, the inspectors. Um, again, same information for municipalities that have saved information that have all the pictures and videos of notes on there. Um, but effectively, what can inspections that are done virtually do for both? Um, I have such a great feel and relationship with a lot of the people that I work with. I know a lot of you guys in here, and we, we, we talk, we answer questions, we work together to solve some problems. In so many cases, just imagine, I understand some people's perception of city inspectors are, aren't too high, but these guys and girls see every job that's being built. There's a wealth of information that's not being shared. But when you have a relationship with an inspector, when you get to see him face to face, you're calling questions on, hey, what do you think about this setup? What about our in for? Uh, what have you seen as far as a negative edge and how it can be plumbed in compliance with the code? We work together in our practical resource. So, um, beneficial relationships, sharing ideas, and kind of meeting on every mind on every inspection. Uh, uh, back to the communication, safety. Conversations, always go to photos, full video inspections, etc. So, I need your help. We need your help as an industry to have some advocacy to municipalities. Uh, bring up the issue. Hey, I know you can see an inspector in the building, the city of Austin, the city of Lake Say, hey, you know there's a, a possibility to do inspections virtually, and we wouldn't have to come out of it. Um, train your employees um, using technology, because that's the next best thing to do. Um, and share your experiences with virtual inspections and how they've been done uh, with the rules moving forward. But um, without anything else, if you have any questions about the move of inspections towards the virtual world, we'll have that. Oh, um, I really appreciate it. My name is Thomas from Inspecting. Uh, well, thank you, Thomas. I don't, I don't have to do inspectors or anything like that, but I think if I had to, I'd rather do with Thomas than with those guys. So keep, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, keep your eyes your So keep that in mind as, as you have to inspect the tools and get, get that all done.